Hello everybody, my name is Adjust Reaper and welcome back to another Minecraft World War II tech tutorial. And today we are doing the Clement Voroshilov Bet or KV5. Um, this was a later uh, design of the KV tank series, obviously uh, evolving from the KV1 itself. Except this thing was not a heavy tank unlike its predecessors. This was meant to be a super heavy tank, which would have a pretty big turret here, um, not a 107mm gun, and actually have a smaller turret right up here on the front with a machine gun. I don't remember the caliber of that one. And it would have a machine gun on the top of the uh, turret as well. But, um, uh, just a quick opinion that I have on this tank. I think it actually turned out quite well, although there's a couple of issues that it has. For one example, back here, where you see these two, like, uh, three block long dark oak wood uh, slabs. There's actually supposed to be like three of these. One going down the middle and then one on either side of it. But um, the only way I could do that is if I raised this whole back section of the tank up of another slab and then used stairs and a, like a typical kind of normal block in the middle to do that. But in doing so would make the rear of the tank a bit, it, it, would, it would make it misshapen. And then everything would be miss everything would be messed up. I'd have to change how the turret looks. All in all, the whole thing would have to change to be able to do it. And then otherwise, it would make the tank bigger than it has to be. And I try to keep these things as compact as they possibly can be. So I was down to the choice of okay, do I do do I raise it up and make it look more accurate up here, or do I just keep the whole look of it more accurate with the exception of that one thing? And I figured, you know what? Whatever, it's it's a minor detail that has to be like overlooked, and in in for its sacrifice, everything else turned out fine. So I personally like it. There is no interior though for it because the chassis is too short, uh, comparable to that of like a couple of my other tanks. But the chassis is just too short. Uh, the KV1, at least, like in the middle section here, at least it went up like a full block, but not with the KV5. So, let's just take a look at some of the things I took down. It was designed in 1941, never manufactured, never built, never in service, obviously. Because the previous two, obviously, just answered that first. That, that last one. Its main armor was 107mm ZIS 6M, and its origin was the Soviet Union. And, yeah, I don't have much more to say about it, although I wish I could have positioned this gun more in the middle of the block it's placed on, because that would look more accurate, but sadly, it has to be placed at the top and I hope that could be accepted, but I think it turned out fine. So, without any further holdups, let's get right to the tutorial. Alright, so starting with layer 1, we're going to want to have stone brick slab, green hardened clay, dark oak wood stair, stone button, stone slab, dark oak wood slab, and a wooden trap door. We're going to start out on the right side of the tank, like we typically always do, by placing down two bottom slabs of uh, stone brick, and to the left of that, we're going to skip a space of three, and we're going to place two more. And now, uh, we're on, right in front of that, we're going to do a row of two top slabs of stone brick on either side, right in front of these bottom slabs, like that. Now make sure that once you've done this, you've decided which way the front of your tank is, or where the front of your tank is going to be positioned. Just make sure you've decided that. So now behind these slabs, we're going to do a row of two green hardened clay on either side. And then behind that, we're going to do a row of two dark oak wood stairs with the back space in the back of the tank, and then we're going to go right behind it, we're going to make them back to back just like that so that it almost looks like a full block. And then behind it we're going to do another row of two, green hardened clay, and we're going to do the same design with the stairs one more time, like that, and do another row of two, like this, and once you've done that, one second, stupid alarm, like that, get out of here. Alright, anyway, now that we've done that, we'll just do another of uh, three things like this. We're going to do two, we're going to do another two rows here of the stairs. Then another row of green hardened clay, and then more stairs, just like this. And then we're going to continue doing that one last time over here. Like that. And like that. And once you've done that, we can place a bottom slab. We can place two bottom slabs of stone brick on either side, like that. Behind that, two top slabs right behind it. Sorry if I'm not sounding very, uh, perky today when I'm doing this, so I'm quite tired. It's been quite rough trying to get these videos out. I've been waiting for the right moment to actually be able to do it, but I haven't really gotten around to being able to put any up, so I'm really appreciating getting able to do this. So now for the, uh, I didn't just say it, so I'm going to have to say it now. For these, for the bottom of the tank, where the interior would be, but we don't have it, this is where the floor of it's going to be. 
So right over, like all the way at the front here, in between this top slab of stone brick, and then where the green hardened clay is, we're going to do a row of three green hard, I mean, uh, dark oak wood top slabs there. And at the very back, you're going to do it right behind where the top slabs of stone brick are. And then once you've done that, you can just fill everything else in with uh, stone top slabs. On that back, all the way to the front. Like that. And once you've done that, now we can just take our stone buttons and put stone buttons on the outsides of all the green uh, wheels on either side of the tank. There you go. And now that we're done with that, we can just take our wooden trap doors, put them in front of these uh, green, uh, dark oak wood slabs and all the way here in the back. Just do it like that. And now you're done with layer one. So now that you're done with layer one, just take a quick look at what you need. Let us move on to layer two. So moving on to layer two, now we're going to want to go over here and grab our stone brick stairs. And starting here at the front, we're going to place two stone brick stairs on the top on either side, with the backs facing the back of the tank. And then in between that, we're going to do a row of three uh, dark oak wood stairs. And then what we're going to do is right behind that, we're going to do, I'll put a placeholder there. We can actually just just put two sideways uh, spruce wood logs right behind the stair so that you can see the top of the log here or rather the bottom, whatever. You want to make it look like it's actually a wheel. Do that on either side and then we can just do a row of three green hardened clay in between it. And then we can run our green hardened clay all the way back to here. Come on. All the way back to here on top of the uh, dark oak wood slab, I think, also on top of the wooden trap door. I have to check here in a second. Okay, so yeah, on top of the wooden trap doors as well. So really just run it from the front all the way to here to the back. And once you've done that, now we're going to actually take our dark oak wood stairs and we're going to do a little bit of detail here. I just, uh, okay. So how we're going to do is we're going to be putting upside down dark oak wood stairs over top of the front stairs for each wheel like this so at the top which is now the bottom of the stair is like right over this gap you want to make it look like that and once we've done that we can just take our uh, stone our stone brick slabs and we can just starting from right behind it here at the very back not here but right here go a row of two then one next to it then two another two one four one four one two just like that run it all the way to the back here Actually, oh wait, we have to do it over here, I forgot. Here, 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 and here. And then we can take our stone brick uh, slabs again and just run it all the way back here one more time. And once you've done that, we can now take our green hardened clay to two here and two here. And over here at the very back, we're going to do two more stone brick stairs with the back space in the front of the tank. And now on either side of these uh, two green hardened clay on either side, I'm going to put a stone, uh, wooden trap door and close it like this. And then I'll make like, the back drive wheels. And then on, I, on the outsides of these logs at the front of the tracks, you're going to put a stone button right there. And then I'll finish off our tracks. And now that we're done that, we can just come back here, grab our tripwire hooks, and then put it on the very back here. That'll be our tow hooks. And I think... Actually, yeah, we're done with this layer. So now that we're done with layer two, let us move on to layer three. So moving on to layer three, we're going to take our wooden trap doors and starting at the front, we're going to do two wooden trap doors here and here on either side on top of the tracks to kind of make our fenders. And then behind it, we're going to go back one, two, three uh, dark oak wood slabs for now, uh, two wide on either side on top of the tracks. And once we've done that, let me just get an idea here. Okay, we're gonna take our dark oak wood stairs. We're gonna do a row of three dark oak wood upright stairs here with the backs facing the back of the tank. We're going to do a row of three dark oak wood slabs in between, like right in front of that, and then one here. Once we've done that, we can take our spruce wood logs, put one here and here. Grab our end rod and put one coming off the front of this log like that. Grab our green banner and put a green banner coming off to the front of this one. And now we can maintain with what we were doing. Now we can take our dark oak wood uh, slabs. We're gonna do two here and two here, and come in, go, out, go back another layer, but come in this time. Go back another layer, and another. There you go. 
Then we can take our dark oak wood stairs, and we can do three here with the backs facing the front of the tank like that. And now you can basically see where the shape of the turret's going to be. Now that we're done that, we can just come over here, grab our spruce wood stairs, do two stairs here, and two stairs here on either side with the back space in the back of the tank. Come over here, grab our... Come on. Come on. Alright, I need everything I need. Alright, spruce wood planks, do two here, two here, and then more stairs behind that, like that, with the back space in the front. And then we're going to do a grouping of four spruce wood blocks, like that. Behind that, you're going to do a row of two dark oak wood slabs on either side, right behind those. And then you're going to do wooden trap doors behind those on either side. Then we can come up with our green hardened clay, one more layer, and run it all the way up to here. So we're going to just fill this all in, just like that. And coming off the back of it here, we're just going to do a row of three uh, wooden trap doors and just flip them up like that. Now that we've done that, we can take our green hardened clay one more time and just fill everything in here in this uh, cutout area for the turret. And now you're basically done with this layer. So now that we're done with layer 3, let's move on to layer 4. Moving on to layer 4, let's start here at the front with the turret. Put a uh, dark oak wood slab on top of the turret here. And then we're going to come over here, grab our green carpet, and put a green carpet right here. And I actually missed something. Oh, I didn't see this from the last time. Okay, actually, let's head back over here and cut out these two blocks and put two spruce wood blocks there and go grab our brown carpet, put two brown, brown carpet on top of that, two brown carpet here, here, four here, and four here. There we go, we're done with the carpet. Now that we're done with the carpet, we can come up, uh, we can really just like raise every block up on the turret except for these like corners here. But really everything you can just raise up after that. Now that we're done that, we can take our dark oak wood stairs, put a stair here and here, the back space in the back of the tank. And then we can take our dark oak wood fence gate, put two here. Actually, you know what, I'm not sure, can I place it on? Okay, I can. Alright, never mind. Put a uh, place two here, but open this one inward to the turret, but leave the other one open. I mean closed, excuse me. Do two here, open that one inward. Now, coming back to here, we're going to do a row of three dark... Uh, dark oak wood slabs here and here. And then we're going to grab our, oh where we have it, green carpet and do three down the middle of that. We're going to grab our switches, this one is messed up. Actually they're, actually they're all messed up, goodness. I'll fix that now while I can. Like that. I'm going to do three switches, two going sideways like this and then one going back like that. I just have to flip this one apparently, but they want to all be like facing outward. This one in the middle wants to be facing the back, this one wants to be facing right, this one wants to be facing left. That's how you want it. We're going to take our green carpet again, we're going to go back two like this, and then one off to either side of it. Grab our rails, and then grab our stone pressure plate, put a pressure plate here and here, and we're going to do a row of three rails on the, along the back like that. And now we're basically done with the whole back of the tank itself. And now we can just take our... I come over here and take a look. Okay. I'm going to do an upside down dark oak wood stair here in the middle. But then on either side of it, you're just going to do a top slab of dark oak wood on either side of that. And now, I think... Oh, no, we have to come to the front real quick. We want to do an upside down sideways stair like this. On either side on the front of the turret like this. And then put one in the middle so that it curves in like that. And now you are done with layer... Uh, buh, 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 four. So now that we're done with layer four, let's move on to layer five. So moving on to layer five, we can basically stack up everything now, except for on top of these stairs, though, obviously. Just stack everything up like this on top of the turret. And now above these fence gates, we're going to do the same design again on either side, like that. And now coming to the front, we're going to take our wooden trap doors, put a trap door here and here on the front of the turret, flip it up. We're going to grab our iron trap doors, and we're going to come out right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And once we're done with that, we'll come back to that on the next layer, and I think we may actually be done with this layer now. Yeah, we're done with this layer. If not, we're done with layer five. Let us move on to layer six. Moving into layer six, we're going to do is we're going to take our dark oak with stairs. We're going to put one sideways here.
here and here, both sideways, both the backs facing each other, and then put one in the middle right there to curve it inward. And then we just raise up the whole rest of the turret with the green hardened clay again. Just like this. And then we're going to go up again with the fence gates for the last layer. And then we can take our red stained glass and we need to go grab an item frame. Uh, there we go. Both sides, okay. We're going to put an item frame on both sides of the back of the turret here and then put a red stained glass pane in either of those. That'll kind of make like the Soviet star. We're going to grab our stone buttons. We're going to put one on either side on the back on the top part of the turret. We're going to put one here and here on the front sides of the turret. And now we can grab our green carpet and then run a row of six green carpet on top of the gun barrel. Like this, you gotta keep the color consistent. And now we're done with layer six, so let's move on to our final layer, layer seven. So moving on to layer seven, we're gonna do three along the front of the turret here. One here, one here with the green carpet, one in the middle, do a grouping of four here in the back, and then there you go. Then we can take our stone buttons, we're gonna put a button here and here. And yeah, that's it there. Grab our stone pressure plate, put a pressure plate here. Uh, grab our iron trapdoor, put an iron trapdoor right here. Doesn't matter how you put it because you're not going to be able to get inside the turret as it is. Grab a dark oak wood fence gate, but I mean not fence gate, a uh, fence post, put one right there. Uh, I, did I get rid of the stone button by accident? I guess I did. Stone button has to be right there. Our dark oak wood slab and our end rod. Put a slab right here and then an end rod coming off the front of that. And there you go, you are done with the KV-5, or Clement Voroshilov Bet, Bet is 5 in Russian, if you don't know, but there you go, that is the KV-5, I hope you all enjoyed, if you have any requests, please feel free to leave them in the comments, I'll be sure to check them out, and if I haven't already built the tank, I will make sure to definitely consider it, and I definitely will get around to it uh, whenever it is possible. So, like, again, thank you all for watching. If you would like to stay updated on the channel, or if you want to know if I'm going to be uploading any week, or if I'm going to be skipping a day, or what my reasons are, be sure to follow me on Twitter, and I'll, I'll be sure to keep you updated. Anyway, that's all. Thank you all for watching. Keep on tanking. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.